Ladies and gentlemen from Bloomington, Indiana, it's the Mike Adams Show! Tonight, Mike welcomes special guest from Yule's Inn Coffee, Samuel Svee! Professional wrestler, end of the world, Jake Bowman! And tonight's musical guest, me, Jay! Now please give a big welcome for Mike Adams and Addison Rogers! What a guy. Yeah. Uh, you guys, a lot of you don't know, those of you on television, uh, Lewis fell off the stage right before we got here. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's okay. You're okay. He's fine, yes. right? I, when I fell off, I tried to take everything with me. <laughs> I'm very glad I went back on my decision yeah. to not ruin everything. I went, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to take everything. What am I doing? <laughs> Did you hurt yourself? I, I am very close. Wow. I, I, I only... Managed. No bruises. Jared and I were in the back talking, and I only uh, heard it. And he go, he was in the middle of a sentence. He goes, oh, Lou. And I looked back, and you're just like... <laughs> it could have been much worse, to be yeah. honest. Oh, yeah. it could have been way worse. I'm glad you're okay. Thank you. Speaking of not being okay, uh, Addison was involved in a murder last night. I was. <laughs> <laughs> this was the music playing while he murdered someone. It was a sweet murder. It was, uh... You're not gonna wake up again. <laughs> Shh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, that's all I know. So I'm gonna ask him to explain that a little sure. bit because I don't know what it means. I'm a little scared. I'm gonna. You don't have to be scared. Move the buddy. pen over there uh, before I get call. stabbed in the face right. by you. <laughs> That's my move. That's what I'm known for. <laughs> the pen Face stabber. stabbing to death. <laughs> with, yeah. It's amazing what I can do with a ballpoint. Um, uh, so yeah, no, I, I was I was involved with a uh, murder mystery. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So they still don't fun. know who did it. <laughs> I'm sorry that I just we outed you on television. We, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the case is not closed. Yeah. We uh, yeah yeah it was you know it was one of those things you gather up and you get characters Dinner? and stuff. Dinner. Dinner, dinner was theater. served. Dinner theater. Dinner theater, in okay. a way. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Where we, was it? Where were you? Uh, at a friend's place. Okay, so yeah. it was just someone's private dinner theater murder mystery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a good price, $25. It seems uh, like a... Dinner I mean, was provided, It seems though, like a, also a, had a side tip. of Bloomington I'm not familiar with. I, you know, it was it was just a little private little thing. Uh, <laughs> How many? Three people? Uh, <laughs> I think there's eight of us. Oh, okay. Eight of us. Um, the scenario was we were on a yacht... And uh, the owner of the yacht gets murdered. Oh. And then you have to sort of suss out who might have done it. I play the captain. It was happening off the uh, coast of Morocco in 1925. <laughs> Were you uh, costumed appropriately? I was. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I wore an ascot oh. and I slicked down my hair. From now on, you need I to dress pipe. like that for the show because like, you're slacking a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. You need to comb the beard, slick the hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I've thought about for a long time straightening my beard. <laughs> oh, give a straightener. Yeah, yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Because I found that's a very attractive look. People really respond to straightened beards. You like a man with a straight beard. Oh, yeah. You know how they're dealing with things. Did, did anyone ever perm their beard? Perms were big you know, oh, for a while. Yeah. I'd like to see a beard perm. A beard perm? Mm -hmm. Permanent. It stands for permanent. Permanent. <laughs> beard permanent. It means curly yeah. forever. <laughs> you know, I had a friend who got a permanent. It was a fella. Uh huh. It was Lewis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything's a little too straight with Lewis. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah. Um, are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. I'm so oh. <laughs> you seem concerned. I'm concerned that you're gonna murder me. Um, I think that was the surprise. I was totally set on me not murdering the guy. 
But the twist was, it was a base. It was like three people's attempts all came together. Oh. At the end, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had, you didn't know if you were the murderer, is what you're telling me. No. You get you get booklets, and you have like rounds, this and each serious. round it is serious. It took like four hours. We all got drunk. <laughs> yeah, which is pretty great because someone was doing a French accent. There's actually it, they were mainly everybody was playing Europeans, okay. so everybody had an accent. But I played the American, so I sort of had a, a like a, a, gra, a, a gruff sort of Southern accent. Southern, Southern, a Southern accent. Yeah, modern. This was not modern. This was <laughs> it was old, in fact Southern. Olden, uh huh, Southern accent. <laughs> um, yeah. You, you get more information each round. It was really fun. I really recommend it. But oh yes, so booze happened. Oh sure. And uh, by the second half of things, we were about three or four drinks in, uh -huh. and uh, that's when things got very fun. People really <laughs> settled into their characters. The swinger showed up, and it became a swinger party. Oh yeah, so we <laughs> weirdo private house party. Yes. Yeah. That's it wasn't funny. made known that it was private until halfway through. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You and did I mention this thing private. is private? <laughs> As they pull the shades down. Exactly. We uh, uh, the second floor is wall to wall mattresses. <laughs> there was Did someone like, play the dead man. Was there someone who just had to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was tired anyway, so it was fine. <laughs> just the older was guy sleeping it off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, there was there was an episode of uh, you, you ever watched that Louis Theroux? I don't know what you just said. Louis Theroux. Nope. He's a documentarian. Oh. He he also uh, investigates things. Oh. He had a special, he's a British man, mm -hmm. and he sort of is notorious for getting into uh, you know, uh, awkward situations, okay. and answering or asking some questions that you want to know about. Oh, sure. He gets into a swinger scene, oh. and they're talking about, they have this room that is only mattresses. And he's like, how do you explain this to like when you have family over and stuff? He's like, it's just a sleeping room. This is where, you know, we have a lot, we have a lot of family over, and sometimes, oh I know, I know, it's twofold, because one, it's like, whoever believes that you're going to dedicate one room to gross mattresses, surely you've got better things to occupy a room, but then two, yeah, these beds that people are getting down on, then, like, he has his, like, aunt just sleeping on oh. Well, this is getting <laughs> just disgusting. I have had nearly a full gin and tonic now. <laughs> and it's only 7.30 p.m., as indicated by the bright white After sun outside. After four hours of solid booze in the last yeah. night. <laughs> You're plus, holding it over. Four plus. Yeah. That sounds action-packed. It was great. And speaking of action-packed, uh -huh. we've got a real good show for you tonight, folks. Oh, yeah, guys. <laughs> yeah. Best in the business. We've not only got Sam Sveen from Yule's Inc. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, your boy Sam. Yeah. We've also got end of the world Jake Oman, professional wrestler. <laughs> yep, I like him. Which I'm glad to hear that uh, Jake and I were talking before the show, and we kind of hit it off. You know, we were having a good time. He's a nice guy, and uh, hopefully he thinks the same of me enough to protect me from you. <laughs> he will be in between us. Yep. Thank God. Yep. Yeah. When the mattresses come out, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Yeah. That's great. Well, I'm happy you're here. This is Addison I Rogers. Hey, guys. Woo! I'm happy I'm here, too. Yeah. Mike Adams. And Lewis, as always. And, of course, the fine folks here at the Bishop. We're at the Bishop. We're coming to you live from the Bishop. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we said that. Mm -hmm. but, you, know, uh, you know, we also have a musical guest. Who's playing? Oh, there's also a musical guest. A musical guest. Woo! A musical guest. I was trying to move on. Me, Jane, from Chicago. Yeah, guys. Great rock band from Chicago. I'm looking forward yeah. to that. Thanks for the reminder. That would have been embarrassing. I don't like to be embarrassed. <laughs> but Lou fell off the stage, so I think no matter what I do tonight, I can always just say, when everyone's pointing and laughing at me, look at that idiot, I'll be like, no, 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 no. Lou fell off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey, how would you... We're both going to murder you. Oh, God. <laughs> this is not my well, night. Hey, come on, guys. We're actually going to murder him. He's just kidding. A little jab. <laughs> a little in the rib. Easy jabs, because hard ones will <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <You> got... <laughs> they did not like that. No, they were wow. <laughs> No. That was much like that, uh, that yacht I was on last night. 
<laughs> it sank. It was an undersea was <laughs> murder mystery. <laughs> undersea swinging party murder mystery jamboree. We tumbled at the end. I just uh, a scuba swing party. Oh sounds, wow! That sounds hilarious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that uh, wetsuit sounds hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. It's it gotta, sounds that way. Why don't we bring on our first guest? Probably. We need to get ourselves out of this. Yeah. This is. <laughs> Ooh, boy, guys. You, you might know our first night. guest. Yeah. I know some of you have attended with us wrestling events at the Armory, yeah. National Guard Armory. Who's who's been out there? Yeah. You got a few. Jake's been seen out there a few times. He's uh, not only a professional wrestler. He's also a reptilian from the fourth dimension. <laughs> And here he is, folks, with us. End of the world, Jake Oman. Gonna be a little careful coming out here because it would not be the first time that I've ate it off stage either. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, but in front of you know thousands of people, it's a slightly more embarrassing. Yeah. 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 Luckily, there are very few people here tonight, so Blue doesn't have to be that embarrassed. <laughs> Jake, you're probably the strongest person we've had on the show. That's my hope. Yeah, I think that's safe to say. End of the world, Jake Oman. You're a professional wrestler. None of us are. We don't know much about it. Okay. What can you tell us about what it's like? You're from Indianapolis, right? Indeed. I almost yeah. touched you, and then I was like, <laughs> which I do sometimes. Sometimes I'm known to touch you. That's right. I'm out of my zone tonight, so <laughs> if there's a night to take me down, it's right now. <laughs> You'll sell for us. That's what we need. Uh, okay, so Indianapolis, pro wrestling. What's that like? Uh, what, what is your what is your day to day look like as a pro wrestler? Well, you know, really, it's uh, it's got a lot in common with you as you know an independent musician, or with me, Jay, and as independent musicians. You know, uh, I mean, I get up, I, you know, I hit the, the gym every morning, and things like that. You know, schedule my routine. We well, do maybe too. not, maybe so not do we. that. No, but, so uh, do we. <laughs> but really, it's just a lot of throwing everything I have into a car, hitting the road. Uh, you know, ended up in Detroit, Chicago, Philadelphia. Um, yeah, that was actually going to be one of my next questions: was where where are you wrestling? Yeah, Not I mean, just indie. You're all over the place. Yeah, pretty much everywhere. I mean, concentrated really heavily in Midwest right now. Mm -hmm. um, every now and then I get some East Coast or some, some down South. Uh, August, actually, I'm hoping to get over to Europe. Oh, and, whoa, uh, great. Yeah, I got a few shows lined What's up over there. What's the wrestling scene like in Europe? Uh, really, it's about like the scene over here. Okay. Uh, you have a few okay. less companies. Uh, it seems like an American yeah. thing to me. You know, it really yeah, is. I could be wrong. But, but over in a few of the countries, uh, like Germany, they're just crazy about it. Oh, cool. So it's like wall to wall. You know, rooms about this big where they'll get like three or 400 people in it, you know, just crammed right up on the ring. Yeah. That's insane. Uh, end of the world. What's your finishing move? Uh, Shining Wizard. Shining Wizard. <laughs> so let's, yeah. So let's, I like that a lot. Yes. yes. Let's, let's say I uh, got Addison off his feet here for a second. He's crawling, trying to get back up. I come screaming off the ropes and just go ahead and hit him right here with a big knee to the face. I mean, this will help a little bit with the protection. <laughs> let's say let's say it was permed and springy. Do you think that would be more of a protector against the shining wizard? Mm -hmm. That's a great name, the shining wizard. That's perfect. If I if I was going to be finished, I'd want to be. <laughs> I can't take credit for the name, but oh, yeah. oh sure, sure. Uh, do you have a favorite? All-time finishing move by some of your favorite guys? Uh, you know, I can't really say too much on that one. Actually, probably the Shining Wizard. Oh, a, a guy in Japan, uh, one of the Japanese legends, a guy named Keiji Muto, used oh, to use it. Cool. So I was a huge fan of his, so mm -hmm. that's probably it. Yeah, have you wrestled in Japan? No, no, not yet. That's that's the hope, actually. That's the yeah, huge yeah. goal. Oh, okay. Over, over there, it's a sport, you know. It would be on the front page of the newspaper the next no day. No kidding. That kind of thing, yeah. Okay. A lot more respected. Yeah. Uh, I've seen you wrestle at the Armory, and it was incredible. You really got people to hate you. Uh, which I think uh, we do that here, but we're not even trying most of the time. You're really good at it. Like, that's a real feat for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. I'm professionally hated. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're trying very hard not to be. Yeah. Well, you know, that's, that's the thing about Bloomington, you know. Normally, uh, I get paid to be hated, so I come out and... I'd like to think in about 60 seconds or 90 seconds I can get the crowd to hate me pretty successfully, wow. but... Uh, 
it seems like Bloomington is a town of my people. So uh, the, the first time I came out, I was pretty shocked to actually get this thunderous ovation. So it kind of threw me off my game. Yeah, sure. Uh, and our friend Dylan was at that event that you're talking about, uh, who wrote some entrance music for you. Is yeah, that, right? that he did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Dylan Ettinger. You guys know Dylan Ettinger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Flannel Graph Records, who uh, sponsors our show. Had a little bit to do with that, I think. You can buy it from them. Jake's theme music. So you can wake up every morning to the same music that Jake enters the ring with. <laughs> Get your day started. I highly recommend picking it up on cassette, you know. I show up to these shows and people ask me, do you have your entrance music? And I hand them a cassette and they're a little dumbfounded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're the first guy to do yeah. that. Do you have a time machine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like fourth dimension, tapes are still all the rage. <laughs> <laughs> tapes beta. Who are some of your influences, would you say, as a pro wrestler? Oh, let's see. I mean, yeah, some of the Japanese guys that no one here would know. Jake the Snake Roberts sure. is a big one. Classic heel. Yeah, uh, what a great guy. Yeah, yeah. The Rock, uh, Raven, some guys like that. Uh, actually, kind of the scumbags, which uh, a lot of the guys you know would look at me, and that's kind of the part I play. So I think it fits kind of in there. Do you find uh, that that is a reward? I, I, I would have to think that is rewarding to play the sort of the, the bad guy, the heel. Oh, yeah. Because uh, you can do and say things you could never do and say in, in your daily life. Oh, definitely. I mean, if I'm thinking about you, I'm feel, I'm feel free to say it. So. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, tends, it tends to be a little bit easier, but uh, I try and make people hate me on a lot more than just the surface level. So. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> have, you ever said, have you ever said anything to someone at an event and uh, regretted it? You went too far? In West Virginia, I had a knife pulled on me. Whoa. Whoa. Instant regret. In, in, the, <laughs> in the parking lot. It was, it was the most rewarding experience of my career. <laughs> if only all of you could pull knives on me after my shows, I would be thrilled. Well, he's got some ballpoint pins pen. we're keeping away from. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Uh... <laughs> that sounds unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you, can you share what you said, or is that too, too hot for TV? Oh, or do you yeah. remember? Yeah. Really, uh, I, I don't remember her now. Yeah. I, it, it was just. Why the, would you? I mean. Yeah, exactly. I mean. You don't. You you might want to say it again sometime. You it, wouldn't want to have that fear. It was, in your it was mind. just the basics, but uh, you know, there's uh, <laughs> some states where things are a little more real than others. So. <laughs> yes. Let's say that some of the stuff might be going right over the top of the head. <laughs> yes, that's so good. Oh. Um, man. So uh, what I'm we were talking about before we got started here, we were kind of going through a rundown on the show, and actually right in the hall before we came out, Jake and I were talking about the sort of uh, similarities between what we do to get prepared for this show and what you do to get prepared for uh, a wrestling event. And I'm wondering how much uh, sort of improvising are you doing at a, at a normal event? Uh, how much of that are you just kind of like, whatever's coming at you, you're winging it based on that. Oh, that's, that's really the job. <coughs> it's, it's all improvisation, you know. I'd like to think that I have a pretty good game plan, but uh, like the first time I was in Bloomington, I stepped out and I got this huge ovation. Well, I'm supposed to be the bad guy. Yeah. You know, I'm supposed to be hated. So it's like, what can I do to make this crowd, three or 400 people, turn in the next 10 minutes? Uh, so it's mainly just improvisation. I'd like to think I work better that way anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I like to think I can create a ton of stuff organically, but if you give me just a little something to work with, I'll roll with it. So. Yeah. That sounds difficult to me because not only are you doing that, you're doing these feats of of strength and acrobatics that uh, seem like they would take a lot of concentration. Oh, for sure. Uh, that's why I think it's uh, the greatest performance art, really. I mean, we're a play, we're stuntmen, we're athletes all rolled into one. Yeah. You know, if I, if I miss the gym for a few weeks, it's very easy that I could drop my friend on his head tonight, you know, and <laughs> i say that's not going to work out too well. So it, it's all on our feet, too. Uh, if I have to flip the script completely, you know, if I have to do a complete 180 and a character shift or something <laughs> like that within 10 minutes, you know, I get the opportunity to do it. Uh, it's something you can't train for. It's, it's not a play that I can just go rehearse the same thing every night. So. Right. Have you ever been injured? Uh, nothing too bad. Uh, I hyperextend both my knees, and I destroyed my meniscuses uh, once. You don't need those. No. You, <laughs> no. I learned that. You don't. It just makes things a little more painful for sure. the next you know, 50 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. But not I still wrestled the next, uh, the next week a few times. So. Yeah. But luckily, it wasn't anything like a serious break or uh, sure. torn tendons. So. Yeah. Didn't have to sit out. No, nah, not really. I should have, but uh, <laughs> you just can't but, say no if there's a pain gig next week in yeah, Detroit, sure. you know. Do you do this for a living? Uh, yeah, for the most part. It's, uh, 
it's a struggle to get by. Sure. You know, it's it's really pennies from here to there and uh, merchandise sales, tips, things like that. Yeah. Uh, hopefully one day it'll be the big bucks and I won't have to worry about it too much. You know? Sure. Well, we hope that too. Mm -hmm. Jake, you won't believe this. We're out of time already. It's time to go to commercial break. I'm really happy you were here. Oh. This has been Thank wonderful. Thank you for having me, man. Jake Oman, folks. End of the world. Jake Oman. Will you stick around and hang out with us for a little while? For sure. Great. We're going to go to a commercial. We'll be right back after this. Thanks. Oh! Tosses him down in a double stomp to the back. Oh! Jake Oman is fired up. He's almost like a rabid animal hunting for a kill. Oh, pulling the hair. Jake Oman showing a lot of aggression tonight. I think he wants to go on and win this entire tournament. All right, hey, we're back. Welcome back to the Mike Adams Show. Yes. Thanks for sticking with us. Uh, it's getting late a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. And uh, I know we have Sam Sveen coming on later. Uh, talk about coffee. Yeah. I do not know a lot about coffee. Me neither. You're not much of a coffee drinker. No, no, no. I drink a cup every uh, blue moon. Okay, Jake, you drink a lot of coffee? Yeah, just late night drives, you know, okay. 2 3 a.m. in the morning, it's the only time it tastes all right. Yeah, I almost <laughs> never drink it because it's so gross. Uh, but, uh, but, but, I'm an open-minded kind of, yeah, I'm a heel tonight, man. <laughs> coffee, uh, Coffee sucks! <laughs> uh, but, I am an open-minded kind of fella, uh, so... We have once again brought back our man on the seat, who's been out testing coffees for us today. Oh, awesome. So Fantastic. we're going to go live via satellite right now to our man on the seat, Evan Smale. Woo! Yeah. Evan, yeah. Evan, are you with us? Can you hear us? I can hear you loud and clear. It's great to be here. Okay, oh, great. Really good. You're in the crowd somewhere? Uh, I'm being beamed through satellite wow. by magic. Woo, great. New yeah. stuff. Through the fourth theater. dimension, I hope. Yeah. It's quite a place. <laughs> So, Evan, uh, you've been tasting coffees today. Absolutely. I have um, all these. Well, I didn't actually buy coffee. Um, I found it was cheaper to buy the beans. Okay. And oh. I've been tasting those. And tasting beans. I yeah. got a few varieties here. And so okay. these, these are mostly what I've been trying today. Okay. Well, and what have you found? What, have you what found? do they taste like? <sighs> what, are the, what is the variety? What do you have? There? Well, I have... I have these, these Guatemalan beans, mm -hmm. these Colombian beans. Oh, the best coffee in the world. These Venezuelan beans. I got these, uh, I got these beans, which are, uh, these beans are red, and they sort of look like a kidney. Um, Could they be? I think I might have got the wrong beans on this last bag. Uh -huh. um, How do they taste? Well, th these taste okay. Um, <laughs> But all of these, uh, they're quite they're quite bitter. Um, main flavor notes is, is just bitterness. Uh, yeah, okay. all of these. And you're just you're popping them about one at a time. Yeah, you can pop them. Yeah. Um, they sound crunchy. They're crunchy and bitter. <laughs> um, I would say stay away from all this stuff. This is <laughs> not something you want to be putting in your body. Oh, wow. Evan, Evan have you tried, you know, uh, you, you with might... coffee, it takes more than one bean to make a cup of coffee. 
Right. Yeah, to uh, have more. You know, at Folgers Crystals, it takes a thousand of them. Or maybe wow. a million. It could be. I haven't seen the commercial in a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Uh, maybe you just need to, Folgers maybe it's a right. quantity thing. You just need to try a lot more. Yeah. Maybe try that. You would say try, you're, so you're saying I would, I would try a lot. Try, and it well, might try taste, more. people love coffee. It's and like maybe, you take a sip of coffee, you don't take like a, a drop of coffee. Oh, yeah. No. Enough? Uh, may, it, I mean, it, it maybe looks like that's it might not. Be. Yeah. More. Uh, <laughs> more. <laughs> I think you got more bags there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. There's. Can you, there's more in there now. Okay. Oh. Now I tell you, it looks like you're yeah. at least enjoying that cup. Uh huh. <laughs> I did. Something about a turkey. <laughs> I think he wants turkey. Okay, I think we've had enough. I think this is as far as we can go with uh, Evan today. Thanks, Thanks Evan, Evan, for the for the coffee dish. Thanks. The man on the seat, man on the seat guys. Evan Smale. Hey, speaking of coffee, oh, and I'm talking about good coffee, not uh -huh. this bean crap. Yeah. <laughs> bean there, done that. <laughs> not me. I don't touch it. Okay. Uh, you've seen him around town. You can't miss him around town if you're in Bloomington. Sam Sveen, he is uh, yellow. <laughs> He's all in yellow. His card is yellow. Yul Zing is his business. Here he is, Sam Sveen, joining us on the show for the first all right. time. Hey. I'm almost home. How are you away. Uh, I got a rocket pack here. I got to turn yeah. it. Hold on. You've been zigging oh, around hey. all night. I got to turn it down. Hold on. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, we, we don't turn want you it to off there. fly out of here. <laughs> hey, I hear you don't like, I hear you hate coffee. Well, you passion. know, it's a little extreme. I, passion I, I, the, passion I of the coffee, huh? occasionally drink it. So. You know, I don't hate coffee, but I hate the jangles, which is the what jangles. caffeine gives me. Yeah. The caffeine jingles. from cup coffee. No, the commercials give you the jingles. <laughs> the, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Jangles. Best part of waking up. I'm getting a little bit that's of the one coffee jingle. It's Folgers. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just saying that's the one. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Excited to be here. Thanks. <laughs> Good. Uh, <laughs> An astute guest. Did it? I, I, I know this thing. Oh, yeah, I'm powerful. Rocket pack, yeah. I know it's powerful. How fast does it go? How long did oh. it take? Oh. Less I'm than three seconds. Oh. Okay. <laughs> And that's all within the three dimensions that we're currently living in. Was that, well, I was like five dimensions, five. yeah. I don't know if you should say five dimensions next to the reptilian from the fourth dimension <laughs> who could choke you out just by <laughs> thinking about it. It depends on how powerful your stuff is. That's true, yeah. that's true. The serum, yeah, that might be. Yeah, so I have a, I have, well, to make me go extra fast, I have a, I, well, I have not only one, but three, actually, uh, full-body spandex suits. Oh. I thought about wearing one tonight and then wrestling you. <laughs> <laughs> Very rarely am I ever underdressed. So. Yeah. <laughs> you have, you're, you're a spandex guy? Or like a kilt guy? or what? I'm a, sp I'm a spandex guy. <laughs> yeah. I'd There's say the two that. categories. <laughs> Lewis, wrestling is also, gentleman. Lewis is also a spandex guy. I don't, I don't yeah. have the legs for the kilt anymore. <laughs> yeah, well. Sp Sveen. Sveen. I must have so, so, hey, uh, said to, to, to clear something up, oh, sure. it's, it's actually Sven. Sven! Sven. Oh, you know, I was saying Sveen. Sveen. Here's yeah. the thing. I was saying Sveen. Lewis said Sveen because he says modern in their brothers. They have this <laughs> Sven! Yeah, well, well I'm glad you know that now, Jared. <laughs> Producer of the year! Yeah. Let's not forget. It must be Jared Check, right? Yes. <laughs> it was Jared Check. Check that out, Melissa. Yeah. He owes me a couple checks. <laughs> Wait, we're talking about coffee, not, yeah, not cereal? Yeah, good. Yeah. Not cereal. Chex mix, yes. Yeah. Very good. That's nice. Let's get to the coffee. Yeah. Okay, here. So I poured one here. I, I, I almost uh, offered Mike here a shot before the show and say, whoa, whoa. You want to see what happens? Yeah, we got to see what happens. Am I going to zing? Is the universe going to implode? I wonder if uh, I'm going to zing. Are you going to zing? Does anyone so, else want a shot of coffee? Anyone else? I would, I got what have we got here? What, what is this? So, so we, have, we, have, we have cold brewed... Uh, locally roasted awesome coffee. So when you cold brew, it's way different than, you know, uh, brew. when you hot brew. Yeah, normally you brew coffee with hot water. Cold brew, uh, you have cold water, way more coffee, like five times as much coffee, and you let it sit for 24 hours. 
So everything is happening in slow motion. You have like this, uh, what's that movie? The Matrix. Yes. <laughs> yeah. oh. Slow motion. That's how I knew what movie you were talking about. <laughs> slow motion process. It doesn't uh, look like slow motion to your thing. No, uh, well, the, uh, the coffee to get there. Slow motion extraction, uh, all these chemical reaction stuff is happening in slow motion, so you get all the good stuff. You have more control over it, you get all the good stuff, but you cut it off before it accepts Sam, all the acids and the coffee? bitter stuff. <laughs> yeah. Un poco. But uh, sure. yeah, so it's, it's cold brewed. A totally different thing, way smoother, way, okay. way stronger, way let awesome. Me, uh, or... Let me lose the gum here. Oh, uh, you gotta cleanse your palate. You have some uh, gelato or something? I've got. <laughs> <laughs> I, I normally keep some full. gelato on here. There's a cooler under the desk here. I normally have some. All right, so I'm just gonna slam this whole thing. Uh, you can you can sip it. It's really a sipping. It's a. Well, it's, it's a okay. shot. I'm used to you know body yeah. shots is what I mostly like to do. <laughs> but I don't want to get someone coffee. Yeah. You know, coffee all yeah. 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 All right, so uh, you, you sip it. It's okay. so it's you know my blend is uh half you know I, sh I spiel this on and on but uh yeah. It's locally roasted, my own custom blend. It's got uh, some Ethiopian beans in there for kind of a blueberry sweet citrusy note. Bl Ooh. Ethiopian beans are known for that. Uh, a nice, That's yeah, right. yeah. They uh, they have good coffee, and uh, a Nicaraguan bean is really nice and chocolatey, mm -hmm. and then a smoky oh. Sumatran base note. No, I like chocolate. It's got, it's got all the notes in there. So I like the yeah, chocolate. It's, it's nice and chocolatey. It was, it was kind of doing a caramely thing today. Every you know every day, every brat, batch, every yeah. brew is different. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, sure. Does anyone else? Uh, could he have Ready? Ready? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Oh, I'll wait. Oh, oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> now, is this, this <laughs> traditionally how you're supposed to drink coffee? In shots? <laughs> is it, do you sell it in shots at the cart? Uh, oh, you go get please. Yeah, uh, well, I sell, I, sell conch, I sell conch in shots. So um, when you cold brew, the ratios you use, you actually get this really concentrated stuff. And... Uh, Oh yeah, let's get. And so this this is actually what I get. This is diluted one to one. This is regular iced coffee here, but oh, okay. I do sell shots of the really strong stuff. And at some point, I was planning to take off the rocket pack. So oh, I think now that we dispense the coffee, yeah, I'm gonna yeah take you should off. show it off too. This is yeah, a real oh. nice looking thing, and that reminds me, all your stuff looks great. Good <laughs> sound. It makes a nice sound. It's like a custom job. All right, we're gonna do these shots. We're gonna do shots on the show for the first time. Wait, oh, oh wait, oh, oh. Yeah, I need one. oh yeah, yes. oh yeah, we need one more. Okay, uh, the gravity's uh, now gravity. against oh, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just turn it on; it'll it'll levitate a little. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we should cheers to something. We should cheers to something. Oh yeah, we need one for Jake. Jake, you got another? And Lu oh, Lewis, how did you? How, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! How did Lewis get? Oh, you don't. Oh, I see. I thought that was just happened. We were just sharing for once. Fourth dimension. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, how about to? Yeah, I can give mine no, away. Knock yourself out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is how you slow up. Sam down. All right. Ready? Here we go. Oh, we're just. Oh, what are we? Oh, this uh, one. Yeah, yeah, let's cheers to. Uh, uh, you know, at kilt, least kilt, 20... Kilts, kilts, I'm, I, I, kilts, kilts, kilts. Yes, uh, that sounds kilts. great. Let's go. Cheers. To, to kilts. To kilts. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah. Now, I can't, um, I can't be responsible for what I'm going to do now. <laughs> now that I've got that in me. And there's a ballpoint pen right there. I'm just saying, it's right there. I see it. It's right there. I was once tattooed on this show. Ooh. This might have been worse. <laughs> I'm kidding, actually. It was very good. Yeah. Uh, it was surprisingly sweeter than I was so expecting. So smooth. So sweet. Yeah. Not bitter at all. No. It's really it's way, not. way less acidic. 60% less acidic. And I can 60%. Feel it for sure. yeah. yeah. And it actually t has a good and interesting taste. Thanks. I could see myself drinking this, and I'm serious. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Sam, I thank you so much for the coffee. We're out of time, if you can believe it. It's gone quickly. I can't believe it. You're used to Did things going quickly, it? though, yeah, I have a feeling. Mm. Yeah. I will say, this is the first time I have the conch. It's very tasty. I've been... Uh, that wasn't the conch. That was yeah, the either. You've so. not had it. I have, I have the conch. Oh, I, I have the conch here if anyone wants it. I Good. Got, I, got, I was very concerned, actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's a okay, regular. You that's that for, yeah. It's yeah, it's it's delicious. Yeah. I, anytime I see it on the street, I usually grab a cup. Lou, what'd you think of it? Wonderful. Truly. Wonderful. Thanks. It's uh, delicious. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. 
It could definitely make a late night drive go much more easy. <laughs> <laughs> so I can buy it on the cart on the street. I can buy it anywhere else. Oh, uh, Blooming Foods. That's like my main. Then, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. We started bottling it. Uh, so we bottle it, and it's like available in Blooming Foods, and like we're expanding elsewhere. Uh, so the cart isn't out there as much. Oh, we do. We do a Friday morning coffee delivery. Oh. Talk to the internet. Uh, I'm on there, and we. Yeah, have where, where can we find every you? Friday morning? Uh, Yulezing.com. Spell Yulezing. Yule for us. U E L. And my name is Samuel. It's the second part of Samuel Sam. Sven. Ah, okay. Sam Yule. <laughs> Sam Sven. U E L. Uh, Yule, and when you drink the coffee, you'll zing. Yeah. Uh, uh, and Jake, where can people find you? Uh, Facebook, Jake Oman, and then on Twitter, Jake Oman 2012. Okay. Girl. I love it. 2012. <laughs> okay. Hey, we're gonna take a quick break. Thanks so much to our guests for being on. We're gonna come back with me, Jane, right after this. Stick around. Flannel Graph Records, in conjunction with Joyful Noise Recordings and Jurassic Pop Records, is proud to present Best of Boiler Room Classics, the dynamic new album by Mike Adams at his honest weight. the feeling when you're running on the bright line featuring 10 unforgettable hits the glory days of your youth through the magic of these timeless, never-before-heard classics. With so many fabulous tunes, you'd think this is a greatest hits compilation, but it's not. It's the new album from Mike Adams at his honest way. Now everybody's Ten of the greatest stories ever told for one low price. Available now on CD, DVD, long playing cassette tape, or your choice of Boiler Room Black or Marble Blue 150 gram vinyl LPs. The best of Boiler Room Classics. Ask for it wherever quality music is sold. To order Best of Boiler Room Classics, call the number on your screen. Parents, get your kids' permission before ordering. Sorry, no CODs. Cancel anytime. Chicago, <laughs> Illinois! <laughs> yeah. They're called Meet Jane. They're on tour in support of their new record, Ison. You can buy it at the table back here or online, I'm sure, somewhere. Uh, oh, that's so good. Yeah. Meet Jane, you listen. <laughs> All right, what song are you going to play? Uh, this song is called Warm Body. Here they are performing Warm Body for the first time on the Mike Adams Show. Me Jane! <laughs>
a lot. This is great. Hey, thanks again to me, Jane. Thanks to Sam Sven. Thanks to Jake Oven, and thanks to everyone who is here. Stick around if you're in this building. Me Jane's gonna keep going. Let's keep doing it. All right, thanks. That's it for the show. Stick around for Me Jane. All right. Yeah.